Before we start the video, I'm going to do a quick little announcement. If you want to skip this announcement, here's the timestamp for the real analysis. In the meantime, I'm going to shout out two channels. These people were the only two people who have beaten my event on my Discord server, which was to beat my Shockwave layout with recording proof. The first person to beat the layout goes by GD Squiddle Griddle, which is an amazing mobile player. He has beaten numerous demons, and a couple of them include extreme and insane demons, and has been on the mobile demons list, which is pretty impressive, gotta say. Squiddle Griddle deserves more than 80 subscribers, and I highly advise you go check out his channel, because really, this guy needs more attention to just 80 subs. The other player that has successfully beat the layout and put dedication and time put into it is Sparky756. Although he doesn't really have much progress at levels, especially for a mobile player, he does have some sort of decent progress with certain demons, and he also put a lot of time and dedication for the layout, which that is fun, but kind of difficult. He currently has 26 subscribers, and if he keeps putting time and energy on demons and such, he will surely go on and become a really good mobile player like Squiddle. So yeah, I advise you go check out his channel out. He's pretty cool and funny on Discord. Thank you to everyone else though ha who has tried my Shockwave layout. It was a fun layout to make and it was really exciting to host that event. So someday, I'll probably make another event similar to that. Hell, I'll even livestream me making the layout. I'm sorry if I didn't announce the event on YouTube. It was announced directly to my Discord server, in which I'm pretty active on. So if you want, guys want to check out a lot of events that I might host there for goodies and prizes, my Discord server will be in the description below. So with that being said, here's the video. Ever since I uploaded a recent video talking about what to expect from the new update on Geomstash, everyone on the comment section has been blasting me new information and some corrections about both my video on 2.2 and the video as a whole. I was a bit careless about my Nessians on the discussion, I think I haven't really covered much ground about the update. So what I did on this video is that I covered everyone's necessary corrections and found new speculations that might come into play for the new update. If you haven't viewed my other 2.2 video, I advise you check out that one out. It's not that long, and I've covered some basic aspects on the upcoming update. But if you are a reoccurring viewer who has seen my 2.2 video, here are some information about the new update on 2.2. Note to you guys, these are some information that I've gathered from both viewers and certain websites, so some of these information may not be ultimately accurate. So without being said, this is what I have to say. A while ago in one of Rato's posts, he stated that there would be an upcoming game mode that would soon be brought out to us on 2.2, which everyone speculated would be the Swing Copter game mode. Well, that's entirely confirmed by Robtop. A post from a long time ago, about 8 months ago, he stated that he had finished coding the game mode in its entirety, and it's now finished. The post wasn't noticed by a lot of people, but a few hundreds have already seen the post by Robtop. Although not a lot of people have seen a glimpse of what the game mode looks like, he's still confirmed by Robtop he has already implemented the new game mode, and, what I assume, as well as the new portal for it. Next up, it's a new mechanic that was revealed by Robtop. This mechanic features a new gamepad that controls your icons freely, and can move around. This new mechanic that was revealed had people guessing it's a new game mode that they can rename it as Platformer Mode. And my god is this stupid. I'm sorry, but really Robert Tapala, this is the best you got? I'm s I mean, this is really cool and all, but why did you take away the definition of a rhythm-based platformer and simplify it into just a platformer? Yeah, this wasn't really a smart video from Robtop at all. It feels more like a spin-off for Geometry Dash rather than a feature on the new update. Of course, a lot of people weren't so happy with this one, complaining about the same reasons, and making this one controversial. And I kinda have to agree with them. It doesn't really feel much GD at all. If anything, this should be scrapped and be saved to a better spin off for Geomchadasha on its own, with its own story plot and its characters. I mean, that would be insane to be implemented. Something like Geomchadash Adventures would fit onto it, kinda like how Future Dash does with his own story of the platformer mode. It would be a better idea for a mobile slash PC game rather than just cash grab spin offs for revealing 2.2. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. Geometry Dash shouldn't really change anything at their genre. Platform mode, in my opinion, should be left out of 2.2 in its entirety and save it for a spin off to the update instead of ruining the genre for Geometry Dash. When you can access the 2.2 editor on Geometry Dash World, you'll notice that you have a lock for the layer HUD. This is a new feature that clearly wasn't added onto 2.1 and might be implemented onto 2.2. This is known as layer locking. I'm going to assume this is like the same layer locking similar to what you do in Adobe Photoshop, whereas you can't do anything with that layer unless you unlock it. I don't know how useful this can be to creators. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big creator on GED, so yeah, I don't know how convenient this can be. Also, while on the editor for 2.2, you may have noticed that not only are there two fade transitions, but there's also two start positions. Just a little thing I noticed uh, when I examined and contemplated about 
Viper is recently getting more talkative on more information on the new update and has been getting more open about it. On January 5th, 2019, he tweeted the following, quote, Rest assured guys, Rotsub isn't dead and he's working hard on update 2.2. He's added a lot of new unexpected stuff which makes it worth the wait in my opinion, but we shall see if the community agrees, end quote. This doesn't really reveal much about new grounds on the new update. The only thing that he said it was going to be worth the wait is that there's just more stuff to be expecting that will be out in 2.2. Greek Sword on Twitter replied with, If there's no multiplayer type of gameplay, it's not worth the time. Vibrant later replied with, there is, and there's lots of new features that will come into it. Even though we already know that challenge mode is already the multiplayer mode, Viper decides there is going to be an abundance of more content than just the mode and a chat, which is a bliss to hear about. Not only that, but he talked about the release in 2.2, and well, he said that not even Rothsum knows about the exact date on the release because he's thinking about new ideas to implement them onto the game. Recently, there was an astounding level by Pipe Nasho, which by the way was the crap of my bed, and was rated on the comic session on the level itself, Robson implied there would be a new category for a feature. He said, quote, in 2.2, this would be epic plus fire, end quote. Now, this may be a little bit revealing, but it also stumped me too. You see, he clearly says epic plus fire, but the wording that Robson says sounds misleading. Does it mean epic and a fire, or a new category called epic plus? This seems like the case, but at the beginning he says in 2.2, which implies that Epic Plus will be in 2.2. A bit revealing about the new feature category in the system, but I don't know if what he's saying might be true. I looked even further on Suppose and I found that on God Eater, it might seem to be the case. Huni asked Robtop if Epic Plus would have 4 creator points, in which Robtop agrees with a simple yes. This implies and confirms that there would be a new feature rating soon to be coming towards in the future on 2.2. Speaking of Rothtop's post, one member curiously asked if there would have more groups coming along in the future. Rothtop then responded to him back, saying there would have uh, 9,999 groups on 2.2, which is always nice to have. On the Geometry Dive. On the Geometry Dash Icon Contest, you may have noticed that some icons that won on the Geometry Dash Icon Contest were not present on the 2.11 update. This might be a theory that some of the icons that some of the icons that were from the winners of the contest are going to be available to be used on 2.2. Of course, some people didn't believe in that, and but think about it. Why wouldn't the winner icons be presentable in the 2.11 update if Robtom and Vibram promised that the winner icons would be in the game? Yeah, it doesn't make sense if they would bail and scrap some icons out of the existence and break their promise. Now just be sure that those winners are going to be added in the later updates. On late 2.0, Viper and Netzer hosted a huge event on Geometry Dash titled Geometry Dash 2.0 Rewards, which featured winners like Sir Punch's Gold Temple, Hand Kicks, Time Leaper, and many more artists and creators. Right now, Viper is currently trying to host up Geometry Dash 2.1 Rewards. But the main problem for the plight is that Vibrant doesn't have a good editor to work on the project. The reason why this is a huge deal to the update on 2.2 is because Robtop is also waiting for Vibrant to finish wrapping up this event. Ezra Dinon on collaborating with Vibrant again for this Jump to Dash event, mainly because recently he has quit GD in its entirely, but Vibrant didn't give up on yet on this event. Right now, he's currently searching for a good editor to help him finish 2.1 awards so that Robtop can finally stop waiting, as well as to stop thinking for new ideas for 2.2 and just save it for a newer update. On the Russian version of the Geometry Dash forums, there has been a rumor that Rotop would add two official levels onto the new update, which didn't surprise anyone that the rumor is false. However, a certain GD player posted a note onto the forum. When translated, it says that he claimed to have a conversation with Rotop about 2.2 and proved that there would be another Geometry Dash official level besides Explorers that would bring out of the new ground for the new update. Of course, this isn't something you shouldn't really trust and depend on 100%, especially when Rotop and Sub didn't agree on what the player has as for anywhere else on the media sites, but right now, this seems to be an international rumor that is slowly spreading. As of now, from what I've gathered from all of these information, I want to predict on when 2.2 comes out. Now, of course, viewers out there shouldn't trust this in its entirety, because I think that 2.2 in its entirety would soon be handed down to us in no time. 
In fact, I predict that 2.2 would soon be released around May to June, which I'm saying that because God Eater is now finally verified, which was an acquirement Rato was queuing for the new update on 2.2 and Viper's 2.1 awards. Or just delayed it to 2020. So yeah, that basically covers everything, at least for the most of the things, and uh, what I've talked about so far. So what we know as of now, we have on the update on Swing Copter, Platform Mode, Layer Locking, Viper Streets about 2.2, the Fade and Start Triggers, the new feature rating, the new Max Groups on 2.2, more icons that might be revealed, and a whole lot more. I think it's nice for Rotsa to be more close to us about the new features that have been brought up by him. It just makes him stand out not only as an indie developer, but as a whole. He said that he could, uh, he would de hire developers to help him out for further updates, so that way he can bring us more updates faster, which is definitely something he needs to be consistent about, especially for the mess ups on the release in 2.1 and now. So what do you think? Do you think it's going to be delayed again? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, like if you liked the video, subscribe if you like uh, some of my videos and you're interested for more, and I'll see you guys then, bye bye.